Manuel Maldonado is a Venezuelan migrant in Ciudad Juarez at the US-Mexico border. After a number of failed attempts to enter the US, both officially and unofficially, he's made his way to the frontier with El Paso, where he's heard there's a chance. Right now, it seems like chances are favorable. Today, 20 people's names were called, and now they're all on the other side of the border. Manuel has been at the border for four months, but the rules on humanitarian parole recently changed. As of January, rather than registering with the U.S. immigration authorities and waiting to enter as a Title 42 exception case, northbound migrants must now apply through the U.S. government's CBP-1 app to begin the asylum process. That now makes a working cell phone essential, and on the tough migrant trail, they don't always survive the journey. My phone is broken and the application won't open. If you don't have a working phone, you have no chance at entering the US. Moving the asylum process online has been, in part, about slowing migration flows to the southwest border. But migrant aid organizations say the US government has set unreasonable conditions most refugees can't meet. First, you need to have a phone. You need to fill up a form without legal support. You need to have a passport, which, by the way, that passport is given to you by the government that you're fleeing from. And you need to have a family member in the United States. That is an impossible mission for somebody that is fleeing persecution and violence. For those who have managed to apply, they now face an indefinite wait as pressure builds on the Mexican side of the Rio Grande. We applied through CBP-1 three days ago, but it doesn't give you a fixed date and there's no way of inquiring. So as a migrant here without money or help, it's very difficult. I'd say there were 4,000 of us in town and two to 300 more are arriving daily. As the U.S. implements new asylum processes, it's the Mexican border towns that are feeling the effects. Alastair Bavastok, CGTN, Ciudad Juarez, Mexico.